So today I'm going to show you two methods for sewing with conductive thread. One will be connecting two conductive threads to each other. The other will be connecting a conductive thread to a component. In this case, for today's lesson, uh, just a regular LED. One of the methods that we found that works real well is starting with your conductive thread or your conductive yarn is to just create a simple knot. and I'm going to slide the end in that I want to solder to and I'm going to tie off the knot. Alright, so I'm taping down the component and the thread. Because this is not traditional thread, it wants to always stay straight because it's steel so it's got a little bit of a memory to it. So you can see I've tied a knot up here, and then I've uh, coiled it down to the end. We've taped each end. Now, with this particular component, you want to be careful. You always want to heat up uh, the arm of the component, not uh, the solder itself. Unfortunately, too much heat to an LED is not a good thing, but we're going to be careful here. We're going to heat that up. And we're looking for where it touches the leg of the LED. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but we've adhered a piece of the conductive thread to the leg of the LED. It's not important that you get the entire length of it. You just want to make a connection. And what we like to do when we're done with the connection is just feed the tubing through to cover up our connection. We're going to put this piece of conductive thread through. Okay. We have a knot there now that we've created. I'm just going to tape these so they stay out of the way. And now what we're going to do is we're going to heat up that knot. Now here you don't have to worry about a component being fried. It's okay if these splice ends fold over one in each other. And the reason why we do this is just to take stress off of the connection. Uh, solder is not weld, so um, you know, if we were to yank on this just like you were to yank on the component, it's going to come apart. So this adds some extra reinforcements to keep your e-textile projects connected like you want them. 